Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Uh, my name is Antonisha Lachey and I primarily make videos on this channel about planners and time management and organization. I also make some mommy and lifestyle type videos and more of those including business videos will be coming soon. So if that is something that you are interested in, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already um, so that you are notified when I do make new videos. And if you are interested in the content of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up to let me know so that I can continue making videos like this. So today I am going to be doing a flip through of my November 2018 setup. Um, since we are at the end of November, I'm filming this on November 30th, the last day of the month. Um, I wanted to give you guys a flip through of how it's set up since I haven't made any um planner videos like this in a while and then I'll also be doing a setup of my December um, I'm going to be changing traveler's notebook covers and everything so I'll have a different video on that coming up in a few days um, I will go ahead and apologize if you guys do hear um, well not really apologize but if you hear some lullabies in the background my newborn is right next to me in his uh, rock and play so bear with me on that so I'm going to try to make this quick. So this is a standard size traveler's notebook. Um, this cover is from the um, Delusions line by Diane uh, Reevely, excuse me, and it's um, produced by Ranger Inc. And so when I decided to switch to standard size TN, if you watch my last video, um, which was the unboxing of all of the stuff that Doki Books sent me, they sent a standard size TN. It was a disbound TN. And, um, I just really like the size. Um, something that I've heard other people, um, Annie from A Wife and Mother, she basically hit the nail on the head. This, I'm an A5 girl. If you guys have not followed my channel, you know I always seem to divvy back into A5. Um, I was, I've been in big happy planner size for a while, but I do love the larger space. Um, but because of me now having to pack a diaper bag for two kids under two um, and not really carrying a separate purse, I need something that's more por portable. So what I love about the standard size TN is that it gives me um, the height of an A5 sheet of paper. Um, not quite the width, of course, but um, it just gives me the portability of a personal size planner. You guys know I've been in personal rings quite a few times and I love the portability of it but the, just the paper size wasn't big enough. So this kind of gives me the best of both worlds. So this charm, um, I had this a while ago. If you guys saw when I was in the A5 TN that I had my Hobonichi cousin in, I got this charm from um, a Tales to Tell shop on Etsy. Um, and it's also where I got this bookmark charm. It just has some different beads and jewels. Um, this one has a camera on the bottom and then this one has a passport. So I've had these for a while. Basically when I put this together, I put it together with stuff that I already had. I didn't buy anything new for this. Um, I have since bought new stuff um, because I've decided to stick to this size. So let's go ahead and just get inside. I don't want this video to be super long. Um, the pen that I'm using, I've been using this pen for a few months now. This is the um, Uni Jet Stream. It has four ink colors and a pencil and I really love it. Um, all of my inks and my pencil are a 0.5. Um, I got this from Jet Pens. I absolutely love Jet Pens. Um, anytime you're trying to order any kind of uh, pens, I order my mile liners from there, any stationary items. I just really love them. And of course, purple is my favorite color. So again, it has um, black, blue, green, and red. And then it has a pencil on this end. And then it has an eraser in the cap, which I'm running low on. So I need to order some new ink and, some, and a new eraser. But opening this up, I really, really love this cover. Um, this is a fabric cover and the, um, the creator of this line, um, Diane Reevely, th this is her artwork um, on the cover and you'll see like the um, folders and one book that I have in here are also from this line. Again, all this stuff came with um, that Sophisticrate packaging that I had. So on the very front, um, I just keep this clip here. This was my grocery list from last night and I went grocery shopping. But this section, um, this book only has two elastics. It has these orange elastics. It only has two, so everything in here is jump banded. But this first section is my wallet and brain dump section. So I keep a list pad here, so I'm keeping track of um, groceries and things that we run out of. So when I do make my grocery list, I kind of just pull from here. Um, again, this is one of the pocket folders. Again, this came from um, the same line that the notebook came from. 
And inside this, this is a Kiki K notebook that came, a notepad that came with an old Kiki K ring planner, um, a personal size ring planner I had a while ago and I just stuck it in here by the back cardboard. And then I also keep just some other little note papers and I've got some receipts back there, stuff like that. This is the wallet insert that I was telling you guys about um, when I did the Doki book unboxing that I couldn't show to you guys because I hadn't covered up all my cards. So what I love about this is it has three card slots on the front of the first side and then it has three card slots on the back but it also has a zip pouch here so I keep my driver's license, debit cards, more debit cards, and then I have a Walmart gift card and my Costco card. And in this zip pouch, this is where I keep our insurance cards, I keep cash if I ever have any, um, and postage stamps. And then just to flip to the other side, um, it doesn't have anything on this side. It has another zip pouch. I keep um, Alan's business cards, um, some punch cards from my kid's consignment store, receipts that I need to hold on to. And then on this side, it has two almost like slip pockets that are like um, US dollar size. So you could keep cash in here, but I prefer to keep it in the zip pouch. I just have, again, a receipt from Christmas layaway, a Chick-fil-A gift card, and then back here I just have some coupons and some other receipts and stuff like that. So I really, really like this zip, zip pouch. It's really high quality. This came from Doki Book. It did not come with the TN that they sent me, but they also sent me this in the box, and so I put it in here. And then this notebook, this is my brain dump notebook. This, I want to say that this came, I bought the, the, the TN from Michaels, the Recollections brand one. I want to say that this notebook came out of it. Yeah, because it came with two notebooks. I kept struggling because I know that this one came out of it, but it came with two notebooks. That's what it was. So, um, I just used this as a brain dump. This was, um, some notes I had taken when I was using the Disbound TN. So I just tipped it in so I could have it. Um, but like I said, just brain dumping and as I process the brain dump, I just scratch through the whole page or scratch through the section. If it's not, and I highlight if I'm not done with the whole section, like this is for my business and my home management planner, a to-do list. So if I'm not done with the whole section, I'll just highlight off what I did do and um, keep the rest. And like I said, I'll scratch off small sections as I use it. If it's not scratched off, then I haven't, it's not that I haven't processed it, but it's something that I need to do. I'm going to skip that page because this is my Christmas shopping list um, and Alan might watch this video so I don't want him to see it. And this tab is from the Coco Daisy December kit. You guys will see more of that when I do my December setup. And then I'm also planning on doing some flip throughs of my December daily that I'm doing with the Coco, Coco Daisy December kit. So just more brain dump stuff. And then I just have, um, this is not a true Ollie clip but similar to it that just marks... Um, Actually, we're supposed to mark my current page, but I have some more notes back here. So it just marks the next blank page for me to take notes on. And so, and then this is the back of that um, pocket folder. And I just keep, these are some of the menu planner inserts from my personal or compact size Franklin Covey that I was using. And I just cut the rings off and stuck it in here and just some random notes and stuff. So that's what I have here and then the other part of this first elastic again these are um, jump banded together this is another one of the pocket folders i just have some post-its in here this notebook i'm using for any um non-fiction um personal development or professional development type books that i'm reading i'm taking notes on them so i won't have to keep going back to the book to reference it because a lot of these in this information i'm either um, putting it into my planning process or my business process or something that I want to make a video on so I'm just taking notes as I read the book these are some notes from the miracle morning that I had taken in my mini happy planner and I just cut the punch side off and um, washi taped it so what I'm going to do with this is once I finish this book and I want to keep all the notes together I'm just going to tip this in here so I have it there and then I have some note sheets from this is also from the december coco daisy kit these are my um some of my prompts that i'm using for my december daily i had that booklet in here but i took it out because i didn't need it in november and then same thing i just have a binder clip here to get me to the next blank page this back pocket is empty this next one this is my diy fish inserts i will come back to that in a second and then this um book here this is the notebook that came 
with um, all of this stuff in the Sophisticrate. This is um, a mixed media. It's a dot grid. I'm not a big fan of dot grid, but I've used it because I had it um, and it's quite thick. So that's why I've, I keep the binder clip here mainly to hold it closed, but also to hold my pen. But um, this is my commonplace book. So on the front, I just have some extra post-its and then I have my index here. And when I first started in the TN, this is the book that I had inside the um, Doki book, this bound TN. So I was kind of bullet journaling. I just drew out my week on one page with grid um, or dot grid in this case. And then I was using the um, pages that were on the disc as my daily pages. Um, and I was just brain dumping and pulling them out. I talked about that a little bit in my last video. But... At the end of this week is when I got my DIY fish insert, so I stopped using it, and I didn't want this booklet to go to waste. So what I did is I prepped this first to be um, for forward, not forward planning, but kind of. Um, I use Google Calendar to forward plan all of my appointments, but I don't like putting any kind of tasks or projects in anything digital because it just doesn't work for me. I have to have tasks and projects on paper. So what I did is I just set up a one-page layout for each month. Um, I did November and December of this year, but by the time I finished doing this, I had already had my November DIY fish insert. So I ended up not using this, but this is December and I'm in the middle of doing my monthly review right now and adding this all over. But then I just have January through December of next year. And all of these stickers are from the Happy Planner um, Dates and Holidays book. So I just put... 2018 so I could know that that's what these two were and then all the rest of these I know were 2019 so I didn't bother to try to put a date and I just um, used some of the clear stickers and things that represented something I would think about for that month and so I did this all the way through December of next year because I already have things going on and this is going to fill up a lot more and then the next thing I did if you follow me on Instagram then you guys may have already seen this I put my planning processes um, in here, so I have my yearly and my quarterly, my monthly planning, and then my monthly review, which are two different things. And I will be doing a video as I do each one of those. I'm actually going to start doing my yearly planning next week because I do have the um, Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets. And so next week is Power Sheets Prep Week. Well, it's going to be actually this week that you guys are watching this because you should be seeing this video on December 3rd. So this is the week of Power Sheets Prep Week. And I'll be filming some of that and putting a video up so you can see my annual planning process. Like I said, quarterly planning, monthly planning, and then monthly review. And then I do a mid-month review on the 15th, which is something that I got from Productive Flourishing. And then my GTD weekly review process, and then my daily planning routine. And then I've just got the rest of this book. I am going to put, um, right now I'm working on... Um, a mashup between Fly Lady Zone Cleaning and then Clean Mama's cleaning routine. So once I put that together, I'll have my cleaning um, routines and stuff stored in here as well. So that is what's in there. And then the last thing is my DIY fish inserts. As you can see, my inserts are bigger than standard TN inserts, which is what these pocket folders are. Um, what I did with this, like this, my monthly chart, I didn't cut or trim anything on this page. So this is a full eight and a half by 11. I just folded it at the flap like it's supposed to for DIY fish and then folded this here. And then for my daily pages, I trimmed the edges a little bit where the cut marks were, but I didn't trim anything off the top or bottom. I do not mind at all that these are bigger than my other inserts. I really enjoy the extra space that it gives me. So for November, I did not use a monthly chart at all because I haven't used one in a while or any habit tracker and I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with it. So I just had this blue post-it list here and as things were coming up throughout the month that I wanted to track, I would put it on here to give me an idea of how to set this up for December and then I just wrote this stuff in yesterday so I could start grouping like stuff together and getting it off here. And basically what I decided is I'm gonna use this monthly chart um, to track um, goals and projects basically after I did it just to make sure I actually did it and there are going to be a few things that happen um, what do you call it um, weekly that I need to kind of pre-schedule so when I set up my weekly chart 
I remember that, hey, this thing needs to be done. It's kind of similar to using this for forward planning tasks because again, my Google Calendar has all my appointments. So if there's, if there's a task like my weekly review I do every week, I don't have to plan it or schedule it, but it's something I would put here and just mark every Friday, I need to do my weekly review, but everything else on this monthly chart is gonna be me tracking after the fact, did I do it? Um, so I have personal stuff, um, self-care stuff, uh, my son's homework and stuff, date nights, and then a lot of business stuff on here. And then the monthly calendar, I've said this for a long time, I don't need a monthly calendar. So I just put in the big things that were going on, but there's no way in the world all the stuff that we have going on in a month can fit here. Um, you'll see in my December setup, on December I'm using this as an editorial calendar because my business planner doesn't start until January. But once January comes, I have no clue what I'm gonna use this for. I'm thinking I'm gonna use it for meal tracking. Um, I pl meal plan for a month at a time. So I think I'm gonna use this just to write the meal that we had each day. So when I go to plan the next week's meals, I'm not repeating things, but I honestly don't need this at all. But I still love this layout. And I'm sorry I didn't mention, this is DIY Fish version 2.2. And this comes in the um, standard MTN size. So this is the standard traveler's notebook size. I didn't have to like upscale it or upsize it and anything like that. Um, I didn't have anything to do with this box. So I just put a list of videos that I wanted to film this month. Um, well film in November, most of them didn't get done. So you guys will see pretty much all of these in December. Um, and then I use the checklist as my monthly to-do list. And then this starts with Sorry about that. This starts with a blank page next to the calendar section. So I use this as a monthly index. Um, this is very similar to what I did with my Franklin Covey system and pretty much any system where I have daily pages, um, I always have a monthly index. So that's what I use that for. And so this again is version 2.2. In the TN size, I really like this layout because in the personal size, um, this little weekly section is a fold out and then you have a blank page and then a weekly chart. And I wanted to minimize the foldouts as much as possible. So I like that this basically gives me a full week on one page, but instead of blank grid, I have a weekly chart. So like I said, this monthly chart will be for me tracking um, stuff after the fact. And this weekly chart will be for me scheduling it out. This was the first week that I got this and um, half the week was in October and half in November. So this wasn't really a good, representation of how I use these pages. This was the next week, so this is how I use it. So I split it um, almost down the middle and I put the appointments and all day events here and any day specific to do's that I had to do on this day went here. And then on the weekly chart, I was basically putting everything that I needed to do for the week and some things I was putting a block around it. Let me find a better weekly chart. Here we go. So I would put out all the stuff that I needed to do for the week. Some things I just needed to do at some point before the week was over. Some things I wanted to try to do it on a specific day, mainly business stuff. Like this is um, an email course that I was taking. So I tried to block it out so I could give myself not too much to do on each given day because it's really, really hard to get anything done with two kids under two in this house. Um, but basically that's how I was using it. So uh, my weekly chart will be for me to actually schedule out the tasks that I have to do to meet whatever projects or goals I have going on. And then the daily pages, I don't have one that I didn't really use. This daily page, this is um, daily style two. And I really like this daily page. I think this is, I'm trying to find one that's semi clean. I really, really use these inserts this month. I really love them. Um, this is about the cleanest one. So what it has is it has um, a space for your top three up here and it has your timeline dead center. Um, so it's a 24 hour timeline. And what I love about it is I would put my tasks on this side and then my time schedule on this side and I was able to see them. And sometimes if I needed to draw a line from like this, I had my sister's baby shower. So if there were things that I needed to do for that baby shower, I could just draw a line next to it. I didn't, but I, I really, really like these daily pages. So I'm just gonna flip through really quickly so you can see it. Like I said, I got a lot of use out of them. I did start using stickers. I was just trying to use up what I have in my stash. Um, 
starting in in December, I'm just going to use, I got the Coco Daisy sticker kit too, so I'm going to use all of that for December. But starting in January, I think I'm going to start ordering my Planner Kate um, weekly kits again and using them in here because they are um, simple enough and not so overwhelming of a kit that they will work in here. And at the end of every week, um, because this is a day on one page, the Sunday always ends up on the left side. So on the right side is a blank page before the new week starts. So I use that as the space to do my weekly review. So as I'm going through and I do my weekly review at the end of the month, I'm migrating tasks that I didn't get done on the days and I'll put it on here. Um, and then any tasks that ended up on the weekly side that I didn't get done, I'll put it on here. So when I get ready to set up this week, I have all of this stuff from the previous week that I didn't get done. I would flip to my monthly to-do list and see what's on this list that I need to get done. And then I'll put it on here as well. And then I'll go through here and decide where these things are going to go. Am I going to put it on a set day or am I going to put it over here and maybe try to schedule it? So that's how this whole thing went. Anything that's these post-it notes are just uh, personal information that's covered up. But I pretty much use it the exact same way every day in a weekly review at the end of every week. And then I use these were um, some stickers from the Happy Planner seasonal kit because this was Thanksgiving Day. And just using these were some Coco Daisy um, stickers from the November kit last year. Um, so again, my weekly review at the end of the month, uh, at the end of the week. And then this is this week right here. And I don't have a spot for a weekly review because this month ends on a Friday. And so the first and second, um, the Saturday and Sunday are in the December's booklet because they, the they are the first and the second. So at the end of every monthly booklet, you get three or well, four blank pages. Um, when I first started using this, that first week of November had these days of October in it. So I just did my daily pages back here. Um, I used this last page to put some holiday movies that were on Netflix. And so I'm using this page to do my monthly review. And so I'll do the same thing in December. I'll use the last page of the month to do my monthly review. And then, um, well, front and back. And then I'll have this page I'm actually going to use for my quarterly review because I do have to do a quarterly review in December. But that's how I'm planning on using this. In 2019, I'm staying with this exact same system. The only difference is I'm going to go to a day on two pages because I was seriously running out of space sometimes when I wanted to take notes. Um, and there are some notes that I wanted to stay on that particular day and not have to put it in my brain dump book. Um, so that's what's going on in here. And then I have some of my Franklin Covey uh, weekly compass cards in here. I was using this. This is from my compact or personal size Franklin Covey. This was the page finder. And I just stuck these because I was trying to decide if I wanted to use these. This is the weekly compass card where you put your role in your big, uh, big rock. And then on the back, you could put like a weekly to-do list. And then I also have these, um, which are the progressive task lists. Um, these are punched on the side to go in your rings, but I cut it off. Um, and you could basically put like next actions based on your different categories. So I just stuck one of each in here so I could just kind of look at them every day and decide if I wanted to use them or not because I have booklets of these and then I have booklets, two different booklets of the progressive task list. So, um, yeah, I'll figure out by 2019 or by next week or whenever, if I want to use it. But in the meantime, um, what I normally did is I had this clip to the side of the page so it didn't move, but because I was getting down to my last couple pages, it was flopping around. So I just had it just sitting there and that's how I marked my page. So that's it for my 2018 setup. If you guys have any questions at all, be sure to leave them below in the description box and I will, um, excuse me, in the comment section and I will answer anything that I can. Um, if you have any questions about if you saw a sticker and wanted to know where it came from, like I said, everything in this book came from this line, the Delusions line by Ranger Inc. Um, except for these two notebooks that came from the Michael's Recollections Traveler's Notebook and then of course this came from Doki Book. Um, so again, if you guys have any questions at all, just leave them below. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to the channel if you are not because I have a lot of videos coming for you guys in December. Um, and in a few days from the time that I made this video, you guys will see my December setup in my new Traveler's Notebook cover. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.